Suppose somebody's watching this and says, I, you're a very smart person. I don't have enough money to invest with you. I only have $100,000. What should I do with 100000 What do you tell somebody? Do people come up to you at a cocktail party and say, I've got 100000 or I've got a million dollars. What should I do? What do you tell people? Well, if it truly is 100000 my, my my comment is go passive. You have absolutely no way to beat the market. I know you think you're going to, but you don't. Here's three or four okay. ETFs that one can go, but literally 100000 If one were to say, maybe a little more, a little less simplistically, hey, what, what is the best idea? I've got a significant pool of money. I would tell them the biggest thing we're gonna see in our lifetime from today will be the picks and shovels driving AI. And that's around the data center space. Go figure out how to get exposure to hyperscalers, which we think will be the biggest winner in what AI and data storage will do for the world. What's the best investment advice you've ever received? Probably two things. One is I'd say, uh, Remain curious, keep testing your own theses. And the second is patience. If you have a point of view and you've researched it and you've tested it again and again and again, you gotta be patient for this. Don't let it run out. One of our board members, Henry Kravis, always tells me that some of the mistakes he made was buying an investment, locking in a great return, but then 25 years later, watching this thing have another 10X from that point. And he said, I knew it, but I was on a business model that required me to get that liquidity. I wish I hadn't. And that's been a lesson that he always reiterates to us. And we as partners talk about it all the time. How do we take that long-term lens?